Happy 4th of July, everybody. Jim Leisenring here with another episode of Inside the Blue Fence. Before we go down, just want to point out what a lot of the, lot of the light blue walls you see kind of point out the new construction from the edge over on the south side. That's the golf shop wall all the way across where you can see um, the snack bar window and the, the uh, doorway to the hallway that'll enter into the clubhouse from the patio side. Also, the new bar where you can see Actually, that's the that's as if the door the windows were open and you could be sitting and enjoying a nice day like today. Then the expansion onto the east side of the bar for more seating, and then all the way to the north area where today they're pouring some piers, which is pretty exciting as we continue to see the clubhouse grow. You can also see some of the stonework that's beginning, which is going to you know tie us in for new construction into the existing existing building and kind of put everything all together. So uh, let's take a look inside. As I mentioned up top about the stonework, you can see some more on the back of what is our walk-in cooler and freezer, but you can kind of see how nicely it's gonna tie in and how good it looks. It's, uh, um, it's gonna be fun to watch that work its way around the building. I'm in the north expansion area of the dining room. You can see the two piers and the footers that'll support an expansion of about 30 feet out and then along this wall, we'll have the accordion doors I've mentioned a lot that will kind of open up. I would imagine on a day like today, you could sit inside, sit outside, and enjoy kind of watching some golf and, and relaxing. In support of the new expansion, I just want to remind, we will have a full service bar that was kind of where the other, remember where the TV was back in the old grill? So uh, if somebody's hanging out in this part of the club, we'll be able to take good care of you. Kitchen comes right through there. We've got a nice kind of an uh, ornamental fireplace that's gonna be on that wall. So we'll be able to take this room and, and uh, use it for a bunch of different functions and create a bunch of different ambiances. I'm in the dish pit area of the kitchen. Remember I mentioned in a couple episodes ago about the hoods. Well, this is the hood for the dish pit that's been um, hung. And we also have the new hood system for the hotline of the kitchen, which will run all along this wall. Now I'm on the other side of the building, on the south side, where the expansion, where you see the subflooring for the fitness center, which will be on top of the men's and women's locker rooms. Over on this side, this big area here, we're envisioning kind of our own version of a stretch lab with stretching equipment and things to get ready for golf, um, support that kind of helmet. You've got Kinesis, Universal, and a lot of different ways um, for a kind of a golf experience, fit, a golf-centric fitness experience. Well, we're still upstairs and now I'm in the uh, yoga studio, which has been trimmed out. It looks kind of nice where, you know, we'll be able to do different training and programs, um, combining disciplines. And also I think on like a day like today, it'd definitely be hot yoga, but now we'll do some fun stuff. Also I'll probably use it for some golf instruction, and different things. We're looking forward to it. It's a nice big room. Now I'm standing where I will be months from now, kind of behind the bar where I like to hang out and talk to people. So you can kind of picture the bar here, not to mention, you know, another, another um, bar top on this side where someone could sit inside and outside depending on the weather. These are once again, the accordion doors that can open up or close. So, and then you can see how much room we have. I mean, with the expansion here, it's just gonna be fantastic. I think it's easy to picture a bunch of people having fun, TVs up around the top, TVs on the wall. So uh, I think it's gonna be a fantastic place to hang out. Also, it's in proximity to the patio, so if you're making the turn, you can pop into the bar, or once again, you can walk right outside here and go right to a walk-up snack bar, so that's gonna be nice and efficient. Well, thanks everybody for tuning in to another episode of Inside the Blue Fence. I hope you all have a safe and happy 4th of July, and we'll see you at the club.